we are going to go ahead and open up iPod Wizard. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and plug in the iPod. Alright. <clears throat> then once it's plugged in, we're going to wait till it shows up here. Okay, and our iPod has shown up. And now that it's shown up, we're going to have to do a couple things first. Alright, we're going to open up, we're going to hit, we're first going to back up this iPod, make sure nothing gets lost. And to back up your iPod, you just go to, you click your iPod in My Computer, which is right there. And then when we're there, we're going to go to Tools, Folder Options. Then we're going to use, then we're just going to do this view. Um, show hidden files and folders. We're gonna hit Control A to highlight them all. And then copy. Then we're gonna go to uh, wherever you want to paste it. For me, it'll be my external hard drive. And we're gonna create a new folder. And we're gonna go in there. It's gonna be my iPod backup. And we're just gonna paste it. Then we just have to wait for it to all transfer. And once it's finally transferred. Then we're good. Now that my iPod is backed up and your iPod is backed up, we're going to go ahead and click Control Alt Delete. And we're going to kill all the programs running the iPod. So we're going to kill iPod service. Yeah. We're going to kill iTunes if that's running iPod wizard we want to keep. Just be careful when you're killing processes though. iTunes helper will kill that. Alright. Looks like we're good for everything else. Alright, just make sure you don't have iTunes running in your system tray, which we don't. So we're going to go ahead and open up iPod Wizard, and when it's opened, this is what we're going to do. Since the iPod's opened up here, you can see it, we're now going to like open the firmware. Top right, and we're going to select Firmware File, Open Firmware, and in New Firmware, we're over here. And we're going to select this, right there iPod Classic to iPod Video Firmware. We're going to click Open. And so we're going to wait for it to open. Alright. And now that it's loaded up, we're going to go ahead and click the button that says Write to iPod. Alright. right there. We're going to click that button right there. Then it's going to give us another menu and we're going to click yes. Then we're just going to wait and it says successfully written, to, written the modded firmware to your iPod. Warning according to Apple's blah 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 blah. Websites are prohibited. Use this firmware for personal use only. Now in order for changes to take later you need to safely remove your iPod from the computer and your iPod will auto reset itself. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click OK and we're going to click Eject. We're going to go ahead, go here, and we are going to go to Safely Remove over there. We are going to go to USB Mass Storage Device, Apple iPod USB Device, click OK. And now it is safe to remove. And now you'll notice it's going to load up. And it is going to say plug back in.
then it'll reset itself again and if you notice it's gonna start loading up the firmware if you focus real close on it there'll be a little loading bar at the bottom right there Okay. Now it is finished, it'll reboot into our new firmware. There we go. Now we have the do not disconnect. I'm just going to eject it real quick. And yeah. Then we have ourselves our brand new split screen iPod. I'll just eject it using the safe safely remove. And Alright. <coughs> now we have our split screen iPod. We're gonna go to music. Songs. We'll pick something that has a background that I know for sure has a background we'll go ahead and play a random song, I don't know sorry about the wait, we're just going to go ahead and play something And if you notice, here is our normal thing, how it works. We click menu. It's going to drop there. And we can go back. And we ha still have our split screen working. Let's say if we want to play a video. We can go to video podcast or something. I don't know. Let's say we want to watch Techzilla. Then we'll click play. And you'll notice it will start playing. Then if we want to uh, click menu, we'll go ahead and close it up and give us the sidebar. And yeah, so that's how it is. And that's basically how it works.